Today on The Flush, a rooster road trip leads us to a big sky bird camp. Pheasants Forever's mission comes full circle, celebrating wild birds on America's premier public grounds. The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Peasants Forever. Pheasants Forever has a simple mission. Conserve and protect America's wildlife and the habitat they call home. Every year, their employees hit the road to highlight success stories built from the ground up. They call it the Rooster Road Trip. It's a wild bird hunt to showcase America's finest public lands. For nearly a decade, this crew has crisscrossed the country from Minnesota to Montana Colorado to Kansas, Oklahoma to the Dakotas, north and south. Pheasants star in this show, along with quail, grouse, prairie chicken, and of course, good bird dogs. Logging thousands of miles has come standard until today. Welcome to central Montana, home to this year's rooster road trip, base out of a big sky bird camp. This year we did things a little differently. We decided to kind of do a, a bucket list bird hunt feature. So we decided what better place than central Montana where there's some of the premier uh, properties that Pheasants Forever's worked on. Andrew Vavra and Anthony Houck are the brains behind this annual hunt. Anthony and I are the only two uh, still remaining from the original crew. The Rooster Road Trip has been going on for a long time and it's been really interesting to kind of see the, the ebb and flow of, of you know, wild bird populations and the struggles with you know, public land access. With camp locked down, the hunt begins. Lots of land, lots of birds. I'm ready to hunt. Let's go, let's find some birds. Good girl. We're doing these accessible land hunts to inspire others to do it. Upland hunting has kind of been on a, a slow decline. We need to inspire more people to get out there. We know that one of the biggest reasons people don't is they just don't have a spot to hunt, right? Well, there's spots out here. <laughs> more like sections. Well, that way or that way? The prairie smacks up against these foothills and island mountain ranges. So even if you're not running into birds, you're just in awe of the country and uh, it's so massive. Logan Hinners and Jake Schiller follow, hoping their cameras capture every flush. Here goes one. On the opposite side of that tree, Logan, one just took off. Well, you're too old to be moving like this. You should be working smarter, not harder. That's Bo, Andrew Vavra's eight-year-old yellow Labrador retriever. She's the close-ranging dog in this hunting party. Like Andrew, she refuses to miss this annual hunt. Her first wild bird retrieve was actually when she was five and a half months old, and that was on the very first uh, rooster road trip in western Minnesota. Good girl, let's go. You're kind of seeing the difference between a one-year-old puppy and some older dogs. Holy buckets, she covers some ground. And that is Scout. Scout is actually my sister's first bird dog. I said, hey, can I take Scout to Montana? I'd love to get her out and get her on some birds, but this is kind of the country that's suited for a big running dog. Out of sight, Anthony finally catches up to Scout and rooster number one. 
Scout was just birdie through there. He just kind of a wild flush. She's gonna have some work to do on running roosters. She's not a finished product yet, but neither am I. I might have a point. Get the bird ball. Bird number two in the bag, first day of Rooster Road Trip. We're off to a pretty darn good start. Yeah, you nailed that one, didn't you, Bo? That's what we're here for. Public land roosters, baby. With birds in the bag, the hunt quickly turns to Wi-Fi. We really need to get back in the town so we can update people with what we're doing. Inside Denton, Montana's Shade Tree Cafe, this small town bird hunt goes worldwide. The problem is, is that the best uh, spots to hunt pheasants don't always match up with the best like high speed internet, <laughs> internet connections. The more we post, the more we connect and that's really the cool thing about this trip. For the next five days, every hunt hits the web. Sharing things live on the go. Definitely, <laughs> definitely some internal pressure to, to produce every single time, whether or not that's realistic. All right, time to pick out the next spot. That looks good, that looks real good. Every flush will add fuel to this mission. Behind every bird hunter, there's a story and a reason to wear upland orange. I'm not that old, I'm 35, but I've upland hunted for, for 25 years. It's like hard for me to remember a time when I didn't hunt. You know, I grew up in the country, grew up in pheasant country. It's hard for me to understand sometimes what people who don't hunt do with all their time because I'm so focused on it. Over time, Anthony's reasons to hunt have changed. When I was younger, I just wanted to hang out with my dad and, and go shoot something and show him that I, I was good at something. When I got a little older, you know, just wanted to hang out with my buddies. That's still part of it. Then I got dogs. You hear everybody say this, right? I just love walking, watching the dogs work such a cliche but it's just like this feeling in here you, you you train year round to work dogs and you get to bring them to a place this beautiful and watch them work and so it adds on and it becomes this lifetime pursuit today he hopes his lifetime pursuit will inspire if you have a willingness to travel it's all there at your fingertips There's spots out here, so do what we're doing. Get your buddies, come out to central Montana or any place there's an abundance of public land and get after it. Nice, we got it. Back at camp, tired hunters refuel their tired bird dogs. The day doesn't end when, when you're a bird hunter. Tonight, Logan and I are gonna be cooking up some asparagus. We're gonna barbecue the, uh, the protein, throw the asparagus in a cast iron skillet with some butter. Oh yeah, look at those. This is why we came out here. Dinner is served. Been looking forward to this all day. Mountain music slowly fades to a new day. A day that burns with optimism. No doubt, Bird Camp has a way of bringing hunters together. Surrounded by mountains, four hunters strengthen their bond. Oh, crispy brown. 
This is probably the most in sync we've been in the eight years that we've done this. Mm. You might have to make up a second batch, Andrew. That's huge, right? Mm -hmm. That's 4,500. Look, <laughs> look at the size of that. I mean, you could spend the whole week there. Yep. It's massive. And we've never hunted that. Before their bird dogs hit the ground, these boys once again hunt Wi-Fi. Montana's wild birds catch an early morning break. Life in Big Sky Country rises with the sun. Working on nature's clock leaves no time to waste. We're up by six o'clock. We're feeding the dogs, getting all of our gear ready, clearly not showering. Then we hit the road. Our main goal is, all right, let's find some Wi-Fi. Let's give, you know, an update. Just kind of stoke the fire. two or three more of those. <laughs> Hunting five days straight, they aim to highlight public land and show the reasons to protect it. It's beautiful, we could walk this for a week straight if we wanted to. All signed in, we're legit, doing our part. Now it's time for the fun part. We've been beating this drum, you know, for the past seven plus years. You work the edge, I'll let her work the center. We'll work up that way till we're ready to loop around. It's kind of who Pheasants Forever is as an organization, and you know, and that's exactly what we're trying to, to show the rest of the world. There's really no better place to do that than central Montana. This is the most scenic place to hunt pheasants. That brings with it some, you know, trials and tribulations. It's big country. You just can't cover it all. Uh, don't tell that to Scout, Anthony's borrowed bird dog. She's ideal in this big country, covering massive territory with ease. She's a two-year-old English setter. Anthony brought her here to give her a first taste of wild birds. Why don't you work the draw and I'll keep her up here on the edge. Find the bird, find him. He's hot. Find him. Good boy, good boy. Hey, good boy. That one bird is the difference between me feeling 100% better than I would have. That's what we're here for. We don't apologize for that. We're definitely here to, to shoot some pheasants and, and you know, make some, some pheasant back at the camp. Where is he? Come on, get him. Andrew, point. Wall. Well, you always pe hear people say this, oh, it's not about the birds. It, it's about the birds. We want to see birds. We don't always need to bag them, but you want to see them. There we go. Come on. Come on. Where is it, Aspen? Where is it? There goes one sailing across the, the creek over there. Diving right back into the lowlands. So we know there's one there. Real pretty bird. Love the color. Hey, who's there? And of course, we're ready to get all self-congratulatory, <laughs> break open our guns, and then another, his buddy goes up over the hill. It's a classic caught with your pants down moment, so. 
<laughs> when it comes to you know the tally at the end of the day, who shot the most birds, it really doesn't matter. It's all about following the dogs. Just kidding, it totally matters. Watch her. Where's he at? I bet he's running straight up this fence line. Oh, look at that. I mean, it was a challenge up and down and up and down, and you know what? We kicked some birds around, but we finally cornered them. It felt pretty good to know where maybe no hunter had gone before, this season at least. And to leave with birds in hand. A lot of walking for three birds. How are we doing? I'm really optimistic. Today begins the final day of Pheasants Forever's annual Rooster Road Trip. It's an online event where we promote uh, public land access, healthy habitat, abundant wildlife populations, and more importantly, all the work that you know our local chapters are doing on the ground. This journey requires teamwork. Together, they hope to capture every flush. It's just a way to visually showcase our brand and, and kind of the mission and the work of Pheasants Forever. A lot of people like living vicariously through the photos, which makes me happy um, through the videos and hopefully inspiring a lot of people to, to get their shotgun out of the, the case. So we're right on that corner, straight into that draw and then work it into the PF property. Hunting at Pheasants Forever's Coffee Creek property, they hope to make their last hunt their best. Well, we finally hit the draw that we saw on the map. It's a little steeper than I had imagined. Well, the muley made that look easy. There was another muley. Bow, no bird, bow. Well, these bushes are loaded with berries. That's where they're at, which is a good sign. Hen, here, here, hen, hen, here. Hen, no bird, bow, bow, bow. Find him. Oh, there goes the rooster. Our plan, our dumb plan almost worked. We've been going for 25 minutes and we've only covered a little over half a mile. Scout the setter's gone 3.93 miles. <laughs> She's the power lifter of the group. Oh my goodness, this is some big country. I wasn't paying attention to my dog. No, Bo, you're right on it. I'm so sorry. Oh, Bo, no bird. Come here. Your dad's an idiot. Oh my goodness. Right off her nose. Good girl, Bo. We were 20 seconds away from just hammering that bird. I'm more convinced than ever, ever that I think it, it's a golden age of bird hunting. I know most people would probably, they'd probably cringe and say you're crazy for saying that, but with the amount of access available in states working to improve access, you know, Montana's one of them, but other states are working harder than ever to improve access. With the amount of information that's available these days, online, people sharing information, if you have a willingness to travel, it's all there at your fingertips. Hen, hen! Holy cow, that was holding tight. Hen! Good boy, good boy. Here, 
Here, no bear. Good boy, dead bird, dead bird. Nice shot, Logan. Wild birds in wild places. That's the mission behind Pheasants Forever. To me, that's special, and that's something that I love being a part of. Hey. Another rooster road trip in the bay. Montana's Big Sky Bird Camp. A bucket list hunt open for all.